Okay, let us look at the first step of a photoelectric effect experiment. Now, you see here. Uh, here we have the cathode. Uh, cathode is actually the... Uh, this cathode is important. Uh, cathode is important. It is the metal surface. Uh, this is uh, the metal, our metal surface. Uh, which is um, uh, this one, uh, the metal surface. Which, uh, where it has all the free electrons. Where the incident light is incident on this metal. Uh, uh, this metal we use as cathode. Uh, our cathode. Okay? Cathode. Uh, uh, all the incident light incident on it. So, uh, this uh, metal surface is the cathode. And this uh, cathode is actually what terminal? It is connected to negative terminal. Uh, so it is a negative terminal, negative negative charge. It is a negative terminal because connected to negative terminal of the power supply. Anode is positive. Okay, anode is positive because it's connected to positive uh, terminal. Right? So that's why cathode uh, is the known as the metal surface, which has many, many free electrons uh, yeah uh, it's negative terminal it has many many free electrons um, this uh, I thought it has many free electrons uh, okay maybe I can write over here yes uh, many uh, free electrons okay many free electrons uh, yeah right there the cathode has many free electrons, the metal surface. The incident light is incident on it. Uh, okay? So, when monochromatic light of, uh, yeah? Okay? Proving the particle property of light. When monochromatic light of known frequency or wavelength shines, yeah? Or certain type of light, lah, yeah? Uh, known frequency or wavelength means, uh, we can say, uh, of certain certain type of light, uh, certain type. Uh, when when we talk about frequency or wavelength, means it's a certain type of light. Is it microwave or is it ultraviolet ray or is it visible light or is it red light? Is it violet light? Is it blue light? Uh, this all means by wavelength or frequency. Shines on the cathode. Photoelectrons are emitted. Uh, so eject electrons. So as I said before, uh, one electron only eject one, eh, one photon only eject one electron. If there are five incident photon coming, they it will eject five electrons out. Uh, when electrons are ejected, it is called photoelectron. Okay, when electrons are already ejected, it's called photoelectron. Why is it called photoelectron? Because this electron receives the photon energy. It is in its entirety. This electron receives the photon energy, so it becomes energetic. Uh, that's why it's uh, an ejected. So this energetic uh, electron, which is uh, uh, this electron which is ejected, is called photoelectron because it receives the photon energy to be ejected. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So when this light shines on the cathode, photoelectrons are emitted. Uh, so just like this one lah. Uh, just like what I shown you here, uh, see this this um, this one. Uh, see the uh, for the incident photon coming. Uh, then this uh, photon energy absorbed by absorbed by the electron. This electron will be ejected because it gain energy. Uh, okay, uh, gain energy. Uh, so you see, photon coming. And electron ejected. Maybe I um I already written here. You see, um maybe over this one. Uh, no, no, this one. Yeah, here. One photon only eject one electron. Okay, and this electron which is ejected, which is ejected. Why ejected? Because it receives all photon energy. It receives all photon energy. Uh, this. How much energy the photon has? A particle of light has? HF. Uh, so this electron gain all the energy HF. 
it won't left a little bit. It, it, it receive if this uh if this um energy is uh sorry if this energy is uh ten joule, so this uh electron will will take all the ten joule, will take everything, yeah, will absorb entirely, yeah, will absorb this photon energy entirely. So it absorb and then ejected. Uh, when it ejected, uh, it become photo electron. Okay, when it ejected, it become photo electron. Uh, so it receive all the photon energy and it's called photo photo electron. Right. Let's go back. Now. Um. Now. These photoelectrons are attracted to the anode and give rise to photoelectric current or photocurrent, which is detected by the, by the galvanometer. So here you can see galvanometer. Uh, galvanometer, it measure current. Uh, galvanometer, it measure current. It's just like the emitter. You understand? Uh, so it, um, this uh, photoelectric or we call it photocurrent uh, detected by galvanometer. Uh, so why we have the photocurrent? Why you see this circuit is actually uh, not complete. Uh, this is the voltmeter. The the current don't flow in the voltmeter. Uh, the current the, the voltmeter has very high resistance. So uh, this resistance in the voltmeter is infinity. Yeah, this resistor is infinity. Current won't flow in the voltmeter. Current only flow in the on this circuit. But you see, this circuit is not complete. Here in the middle, lah, uh, in the middle is uh, actually open circuit. Open circuit. So the actually electron cannot flow in the circuit because this uh, circuit is open. Ah, uh, so what makes the electron flow through this open circuit? It is the light energy. It is the light energy that eject the electron out from the cathode and this electron being attracted to the end node because end node is the positive terminal attracted to there uh, that's why this this circuit become complete ah so this current only exists only exists if there are photoelectron being ejected if there is no photoelectron ejected or maybe the Radiation has not enough energy, not enough energy to eject electron, and no electron ejected, there be no current. Understand or not? Uh, okay. So this uh, current is a special current we call photocurrent because is uh, who responsible for this photocurrent? It is the photoelectron responsible uh, to make it flow. Uh, yeah. It is because the, there are photoelectron ejected and then flow through the open circuit, uh, give rise to the photocurrent that is detected by the galvanometer. Okay? Uh, so, okay, you see. Um, yeah, you see, uh, this circuit is open, uh, uh, but it's, never mind. You will have the light that uh, pump the energy into the electron to make it flow. Now, when the positive voltage po potential difference is increased, more photoelectron will reach the anode, and hence the photoelectric current also increase. Uh, so, if you increase, you see, if you increase the voltage, you increase voltage. Uh, yeah, if you increase the voltage, uh, the voltage increase. Uh, more photo car more photo electrons will reach the anode and the current also will increase uh, that means um, you know that um, how to say uh, uh, okay maybe put it like this okay I just want to uh, remove this yeah remove this now you see this incident light maybe it has um, it come has uh, it has a uh, 10 photons. Maybe it has 10 photons. Okay, 10 photons can eject how many electrons? Can eject how many electrons? Let's say the radiation has enough energy. Uh, each, uh, each photon has enough energy to eject electron. How many electrons will be ejected? 
10 electron ejected, isn't it? Uh, there'll be 10, where to write? Uh? Uh, yeah, there will be, uh, yeah, maybe right over here. Uh, maybe uh, 10 electron, 10 electrons ejected. Okay? 10 photons eject 10 electrons. Uh, but not all the electron can reach the anode. Not all the electron can reach the anode. Maybe only maybe only uh, six electron. Uh, maybe only uh, maybe only uh, make it less lah. Uh, yeah, make it six lah. Yeah? Maybe only uh, six electron. Only uh, only only six electron uh, can reach can reach anode. Ah, maybe only six electron can reach the anode. So, if six electron, uh, then the current will be lesser. Yeah, will be lesser. Okay, but you see, if you increase the voltage, yeah, initially maybe you just put this one as um, maybe just put ten volt. Okay, maybe just put ten volt. Uh, potential difference. Uh, so only has six electron, six electron uh from the ten electron ejected. Uh, only six electron out of the ten electron ejected can reach the anode. Only six electron can reach uh, under ten volt. But you increase the voltage, increase the voltage maybe from ten volt become uh, twenty volt, become twenty volt. Oh, uh, this electron will have a stronger attractive force to the anode. Uh, now maybe it become uh, how many electron can reach? Maybe uh, now is seven electron. Seven electron now can reach the anode. Seven electron and and, and, and then eight electron and then nine electron. Uh, more and more electron, more and more electron can reach the anode if you put a higher voltage. Uh, put a ten become twenty volt become a twenty five volt. Yeah, you increase the voltage and then you can see more and more electron can reach the anode. Uh, has enough energy to reach the anode. Okay, uh, okay. So that's why you can see, uh, uh, more if more and more electron can reach, that means uh, the current also become more and more. Uh, the galvanometer current, the current also become initially if only six electron, uh, it only has um, maybe initially if six electron, it measure only zero point um, five uh, ampere, and then now seven electron already. Uh, that now it become uh, 0 0.6 ampere and then now it got 8 electron uh, as more and more voltage more and more electron can reach the end node uh, 0 0.8 uh, ampere so high the current also increase uh, more and more more and more current more and more voltage more and more current uh, more and more voltage more and more current lah, because more and more electron can reach the end node understand uh, um yeah so when the voltage is increased more photoelectrons can reach the anode so the current also increase so the current also increase so you see the graph here uh if you the voltage increase you see this one from here from from here uh the voltage increase uh so the current also increase you see that from oh, from here this part this part uh the the current also the current also increase uh, the current also increase uh, okay but it has a maximum value it has maximum value we call it saturation current when the voltage become large enough sufficiently large the current will reach a maximum constant value uh, it will have a maximum constant value i m we call it saturation current which is the maximum constant value it's a constant really not changing anymore constant value of photo current where all the electrons have reached the anode. Ah, that means, just now what I say about 10 photons. Why I give example of 10 photons? As I said, the number of electrons ejected depend on how many photons incident. So, since there are only, there are only 10 photons coming, 10 photon coming, so there are only 10 electrons ejected. 10 electrons ejected. So at certain voltage, only has six electron can reach anode. As you increase the voltage, 
more and more electrons can reach the end node, but uh, the maximum electron can reach the end node is just 10 electrons because only 10 electrons ejected. Uh, so this 6 will increase to 7, increase to 8, increase to 9. It will have a maximum value 10. Uh, until 10 electron maximum. Uh, so no more electron already. No more electron already from the cathode. All the electron already reach the anode. All the electron already reach the anode. So this current also will have a maximum value. We have a maximum value. Uh, so it has a maximum value at this one. Uh, the maximum current, the saturation current. Maybe the, the saturation current is uh, 1 ampere. Uh, that's, that's the maximum already. Yeah? Uh, this 1 ampere is because of this 10 electron. Understand? Because all, uh, all, uh, all electron reach ready. Uh, all electron ejected already reached the anode. All electrons reach anode. Ah, uh, okay. Because only ten electron ejected, so there can't be ten electron ejected. Then there will be eleven electron reach anode. Impossible. Because only ten electron ejected. Maximum there will be only ten electron reach anode. Ah, uh, so there will be a maximum amount of electron that will reach the anode. And there will be a maximum amount of current that will be detected by, by the galvanometer. Okay? It all depends on how many incident photons. How many photons coming. Understand not? Okay? Uh, so all the electrons have reached the anode. Okay? Now, uh, I just want to... Uh, so this is the saturation current. Yeah, you see? This current will increase, increase until a maximum value. And uh, it will stop. Uh, you know, after that, uh, you increase the voltage some more. If you increase the voltage some more, uh, the current is constant. Uh, the current is constant already because no more electron. What? Yeah, it all depends on the incident photon. Uh, so um, uh, no more extra, no more extra electron ejected. So no more extra electron ejected. No more increase of current. Uh, so increase the voltage, the current still remain constant. Understand? Okay, so now uh, now you see here. Uh, if the positive voltage is gradually decreased, the photoelectric current will also decrease slowly. Even at zero voltage, there are still some photoelectron with sufficient energy will reach an anode and the photoelectric current flows is I naught. Okay, um, this one I will leave to the next video. Okay, uh, to explain. Okay, thank you for watching.